Hey guys, got a really cool test today. Gonna go through the whole test start to finish with you. But in the meantime, I just wanted to give you an update on the board. Been hoping to do an update on this for the last few months, but people keep on sending me lights. Uh, I've got a heavily requested one, which is the Electric Sky ES300. And been on to those guys over the last week or so, and they are gonna send me through one, I hope, this week, which will mean I'll have, I think, all the main requests one, requested ones that I can get my hands on, um, tested, and uh, available for the update for 2019, which uh, I don't know, at least six months behind now anyway. I will be clearing out some of the old stuff as well, because there's not enough room for everything, so I have a live show later in the week, and uh, I'll put up a notification for that soon and uh, just asking for advice on what to stay on and what to take off. So we will do that update then. In the meantime, I have a pretty cool little light to test on a Monday morning. It's uh, sent to me by a guy, Laurent. He's, uh, that's my best friend, French accent by the way, Laurent, Laurent. And uh, yeah, he sent me in a load of stuff. I've been testing it over the last few, few days. The Secret Jardin LED bars, disappointing. Agrotech Le Spot Cob 2019 version, very disappointing. Um, but we got a real novelty, interesting little light, uh, well, big light in here for tests. So this is Laurent's um, box of little magic tricks. And this is the remaining one. Have a look at it. There we go. Sorry, guys, my um, gimbal control is uh, not up to scratch just yet. I'm not sure what buttons I'm pressing. So, here we go, anyway. It is a big guy. Don't know how well you can get a sense of that size, but uh, yeah, it's about 60 centimeters long and it's got the little fitting on the end. So, uh, yeah, I'll just get that connector first. Let me put this guy down. It's going to be a bit of meandering and uh, figuring stuff out here now, so you have to bear with me. Right, power supply. Here we go. And we'll put this into the meter. Off for the moment. Let's light this guy up. So, screw her in. Uh, ready? Hey, hey. So, as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty unique, pretty colourful, pretty cool looking. I think. One in a row. Uh, yeah, so it's a ca corn light, they're called, which you know looks like corn on the cob. And they're designed to replace the large CFLs, uh, as in to fit into the same sort of fittings with reflectors and all that stuff. And they are a bunch of LED strips. So there's one, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve on this guy, and then they've got a plate on the end. And up along the middle here is cooling fins. Got your driver in the end here, uh, and a little fan in it. You can hear it whizzing away. So, uh, yeah, it's running pretty cool. We can put it down. Let's have a look at the power it's consuming. Yeah, 60.9 watts. Not um, blowing the bank there for the size of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it might be efficient. It's got lots of LEDs. Uh, in fact, I brought up the... Uh, I think this is it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is it. This is all I could find on the internet for this guy. Uh, you can see here there's 
2,354 pieces. Uh, so 2,354 LEDs, which is pretty impressive. So it's, uh, what's that? Six to one, seven to one. Red to blue. Um, seven to one, fourteen percent blue. Yeah, it's about right. That would be about right for a full spectrum light. Uh, price is shown here as one hundred and three dollars. I think that's a, yeah, that's a wholesale price for multiple units. Um, yeah, not even sure if these are viable now, but it'd certainly be fun to test anyway. Next thing is how to mount it and how to hang it and uh, I think I'm going to have to make a little reflector for it so we'll speed this up but I'm going to do a little DIY on a, uh, on a reflector. I'll put it up here so you can see what I'm doing. It shouldn't take me too long. set it up in the 2x2 two two and start taking some power measurements. So the 2x2 two two walls are around. Get the power meter inside so you can see the measurements as they come. So I take them. So yeah, it's uh, hung pretty central now. You can see that there. And I got the power meter in there too. Over there. And I am going to switch off all the lights now. Well, all the ancillary lights around the place. So now we have, you can see there, there is light around the room, giving a little bit of ambient, but uh, there's nothing going inside this from, from those lights. They're all at a low level and not radiating in. Oh. Let's just check the meter again. Yeah, we are at 60 watts on the button. So I'm going to set you up here. I'm going to start taking measurements now. Unfortunately, the, because the reflector is so big in this guy, in the two by two, you are not going to see very much. But I'll do my best. We are getting a grand total of 70 PPFD there, so I'm going to drop it as low as I can, still fitting the thing in. I can do that. That is pretty much as low as I can go. Let's see it here.
pretty much touching the bottom, but I can't fit it in any better than that. We're going to miss some of the light off the end because the end is just shining straight into the miter. But uh, that's the best I can do. So, what is the height then? Okay. 10 centimeters. So, that is low as it will go. And we are getting 130 bar in the test tent. It is only 60 watts, so it might not be too bad. Yeah, I just finish off my grid now. So, hanging high 10 centimeters. Consumed power, 60.0 watts, and we're going to do a grid and take a 4x4 four four grid and take 16 power measurements across that grid, and that will give us our total power output. And we can take an average from that. So let me see. Okay. Okay, so to do the calculations here, all we got to do is add up all these PPFD figures, get an average over this total grow area or target grow area, and then you can multiply the average by the area to get the total power output. So let's have a look. Numbers aren't big here, so it should be pretty easy. 80, 110, 130. 240, 330, 370. That's 130, sorry, that's 250, 100 divided by 16 to get the average. So 100 divided by 16. So the average is 69 per average. And the area, oh, you may not see those numbers here. Is that better? Yeah, so the area then. So 69 power average, this is 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 meters. So 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 equals 0 0.36 meters squared. I'll multiply this by 69 is 24.8 PPFD divided by 60 is 0 0.414. PPFD per watt. And I'm afraid uh, that's the worst I've had so far, I think. I had one of the Chinese uh, driverless cobs, I think, that were down around that level. But um, the irony here is that the replacement LED for CFL is less efficient than the CFL replaced. So uh, it's a cool novelty light. I'm going to ask Laurent, can I keep it, seeing as it's useless as a grow light, because uh, I just think it's funky. So, um, yeah, a bit of fun testing it. I knew it was going to be shit, but who cares? 
bit of fun. It looks cool. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to f figure out ways to film it um, just to show how funky it is. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So thanks for checking in. Long winded test. But uh, yeah, chilled. Take care.